After giving up his dream coat in November last year, Lee Mead has released a second album, which is a departure from the musical fair on the first. I'm really excited, yeah. I was saying before, the, the first album was quite linked to the programme, so there's a lot of songs from the show and, and the programme itself, but now it's, it's nice to be doing, doing some co-writes and getting involved every day doing that, really. So. But Lee is under no illusions about how he is perceived in the public eye as a reality show winner, but is keen to prove he is far more than that. I, mean, I, th I think I'll, I'll always be known for playing Joseph, and I'm very proud of that as well, and I hope you know, that's nothing for me to, be, um, to hide from. And I wouldn't want to change that either. But uh, in terms of moving forward, I think it depends on what work I do next and what, what project comes along. And I think yeah, any, uh, anybody that comes to the public eye through a certain form, whether it's Pop Idol or, or those kind of things, I guess, is, is known for that. But it's, it's what you do moving forward. So. And what a lucky chap. Through Joseph, Lee has met his fiance Denise Van Outen. And along with every 20-something who watched The Big Breakfast as a teenager, I, for one, am jealous. But Lee proved how he attracted the star with his bashful humility. Denise has obviously been in the public eye for a few years, but I guess as a couple it's a different thing, isn't it? You know, we're very normal, so it's kind of... Um, it, it's, it's strange. I, I look back now and think, you know, I won a great role and also found my wife as well, so it's, it's phenomenal. I feel very blessed. But um, it's a, a career, career is important for all of us. I think it's a very important thing, but when you can find someone you can settle down with and be happy with, that's, that's also great as well, you know? And as pleased as his fans are to see a new album, what about a new show on the horizon? I'm going to New York in the summer, which is quite exciting. I've uh, got some meetings out there with producers for, for shows, which is good. And then I'm going to hopefully tour the album in September this year. And then I'm in talks for a couple of new shows sort of spring next year. So, But I, I've said before, I, I don't think I'll be the kind of person that goes from musical to musical. That's why I've taken a year off to do the album, really. So hopefully I can do a new show, but do the right, the right show when it comes along.